Hi, I'm Roger Hickey, uh, co-director of the Campaign for America's Future. I'm here with uh, Dr. Dean Baker of the Center uh, for Economic and Policy Research. And uh, we're, we're talking about uh, what is essentially a, a new campaign by conservative uh, deficit hawks, and especially uh, Pete Peterson, uh, to, uh, to try to stampede the country into uh, into focusing entirely on deficit reduction and, and uh, at a time when we should be uh, growing the economy and, s and stimulating jobs. Um, the, uh, the conservatives in the Congress, backed by Peterson, have uh, convinced the White House to create a White House commission on the deficit, uh, which meets on the 27th of April. And on the 28th, Pete Peterson um, holds a, a deficit summit which, which will feature uh, former President Bill Clinton, uh, uh, Bob Rubin, uh, former Secretary of Treasurer and, uh, Treasury and a, a fellow Wall Street mogul, uh, and, uh, and, and, and uh, Alan Greenspan. So uh, in the context of all of that, um, uh, we discover that uh, CNN is giving uh, four hours of programming. Uh, to Pete Peterson's foundation and, uh, and specifically to uh, 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 programming uh, designed to feature uh, a film called IO USA produced by uh, Pete Peterson and his foundation. So uh, uh, what we're seeing here is a, a real campaign uh, to get the, the country to focus on uh, uh, cutting things like Social Security and Medicare as opposed to uh, focusing on jobs, growth, and investment. Yeah, to, to pick up on that, I mean, it's important to understand where this comes from. Pete Peterson's a Wall Street investment banker who's gotten enormously wealthy, and he's committed over a billion dollars of his wealth to this effort. And it's incredible, obviously, people have a right to spend their money as they like, but it's incredible that you have ostensibly neutral media like CNN that are basically picking up what Pete Peterson says as the gospel truth. And what they've done here is they've really fundamentally mischaracterized both the immediate, the, the near-term deficit problem, and the longer-term deficit problem. The immediate deficit problem, ironically, comes directly from people like Pete Peterson, the, the folks on Wall Street, whose recklessness brought us this incredible economic disaster. And yeah, we have a high deficit in, in 2010, 2011, 2012. That's because they wrecked the economy, and the only thing supporting the economy right now is the government sector. Without the government spending, the government deficit, we would have much, much higher unemployment, much worse economic downturn than we do today. So it's incredibly ironic that the people whose recklessness brought us into this chaotic, this disastrous economic situation, particularly people like Alan Greenspan and Robert Rubin, are now co coming back complaining about the deficit. Um, second thing, the longer term problem, and this basically everyone agrees on, including a lot of the people that work with Pete Peterson, the longer term deficit problem, and you have, hear these people talking about trillions of dollars of, of shortfall of deficit over the long term horizon, this is a health care story. Um, we had progress on health care with, with the health care pass, bill passed uh, by Congress that President Obama pushed through, but we know that there's more things that will have to be done. Now, insofar as that didn't go far enough, it was because we weren't prepared to challenge the insurance industry, the pharmaceutical industry, many of the highly paid medical specialists. We weren't prepared to challenge the special interest. Now we have the people that didn't want to challenge the special interest coming back and saying, instead of challenging the special interest, we're going to come back and cut Social Security and Medicare. Um, and again, the, the really painful part of this story is these are exactly the people, the people getting Social Security and Medicare, those who will be getting them in the near future, are, are exactly those people who took the biggest hit as a result of the collapse of the housing bubble. These people have seen most of their wealth disappear because of the disaster created by the Wall Street investment crew. So now Pete Peterson and his people want to come back and take away their Social Security and Medicare. So to recap, uh, there's going to be a couple of big meetings in Washington uh, talking about deficits uh, late in, in April. And this weekend on CNN, uh, the, the deficit hawks, the Pete Petersons of the world, are being given uh, four hours of, uh, of time for a completely unbalanced uh, presentation of what's driving deficits and, and what the solution is. As Dean says, uh, a lot of the people that you're going to see on this uh, TV show on Saturday and Sunday 
are, are people that helped create the problem in the first place, place uh, supporting tax cuts and, uh, and deregulation of Wall Street. Uh, it's really astounding that, that these Wall Street moguls and, and enablers uh, from the academic community are, are now preaching to the rest of us uh, that we have to cut Social Security, Medicare, and, and accept uh, no public investment in the future. Uh, their, their view is that we have to pay the debts that they ran up uh, for America. So uh, it's the beginning uh, of a, a very explicit class war, and uh, it's very important that we, uh, we add our voices to the chorus that wants to focus on growth and jobs and investing in the future uh, rather than austerity and, and, uh, and cutting back on important government uh, programs. So uh, check out our website and uh, take action.